So we have this function now that will fetch a Pokemon for us. How do we connect that to a React component? Well, let's first make a React component. We're going to use some of those special APIs that only live on class. So we'll define it with a class, Pokemon. It will extend React component. And as all components do, it has a render function. That function is going to return some type of React component. Uh, right now, we'll just render out the name of the component. And we're good to go. Our component looks right, but we need to import React and uh, React DOM again to set up this project properly. Import React from React and import React DOM from React DOM. Finally, we'll use React DOM to render our component to the DOM. Giving it first an element that we'd like to render. And secondly, the location that we'd like to render it to. And if you remember, our page is already set up to have a root element with this ID that we're capturing and using here. So how do we get our component to call this function? Where do we do that? As I said before, this component that we're extending comes with a bunch of special properties. If you go to the React.js docs, you can see all of those. We'll click on docs, go to references down here, and see the React component API section. Uh, if we scan through that, we'll see that there are tons and tons of these lifecycle methods. We've used the constructor, we've used render, but there are several more that we can use where we need them. Right now, I'm interested in lifecycle methods that fire when the component mounts. And where possible, I like to favor ones that happen after React does a bunch of work, which is signified by component did mount. Back to our app, let's implement that. I'm going to add a definition for component did mount. And here we'll call our fetch Pokemon function with the ID of one. And to validate that it worked, we'll take the data and log it out. Now we know that every component requires a render lifecycle method to be defined, which returns some type of component. But we have additional lifecycle hooks that we can hook into when we need to do things at certain times. So when this component gets inserted into the DOM for the first time, it's gonna fire this function and we can stuff anything in here that we want. And in our case, we want to fetch a Pokemon. Pokemon with the ID of one. Now we're just logging it out, but it'd be really nice to figure out how to communicate that into this render function. I'll give you a hint, we already learned about it. And if you say it before the next lesson, I will give you a virtual high five.